Hey there guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to unlock your Thompson TG782T to unlock your ports, upgrade your firmware and basically unlock it so you have no problems playing games or downloading such and such. So well, let's get into it. Well let's start off by going into your modem settings first since I've already done this that I have to use a login. Well, do 10.0.0.138 and then I'll show you that I've got the latest firmware as it says in software release 8.6.p.1 with everything unlocked as in telephony, ethernet, wireless, such and such. As I'm moving around I'm gonna start doing the firmware update. So first I'll add a link to all the firmware updates and that but first I'll go to the links of where you can find the firmware updates it'll be in the video, I'll add them to the description so keep an eye out for them. But I will also add them all to an upload such as Mega Upload. As you can see these links will have the updater and it also have this can also work for other modems that are run by Thompson or Architalc, whatever it's called, and has all the latest updates for it. But be warned, if you do this I'm not responsible for any damage done to your modem if you're not um, very computer savvy or modem savvy. So I'm just moving my core mouse thing around to show you where all the updates are. And once I'm done that, I'm going to start doing the firmware update by going into the folder, update, loading the program setup, just minimize this, and loading, upgrade my Thompson by clicking upgrade my Thompson, next, next, yes, it will scan for the latest, and if you have a password in that, it will ask you for your password and username. Now go to hard disk and look for the file in the um, firmware on my desktop, mine's located. It won't show straight away so you'll have to go down to where it says show all files and click on it and press OK. And it'll show you the latest version and then click, see, then click next. Let this go through, I'll cut the video off here. Now that that's done, now, yep that's done then click finish and make sure your settings are all good close down the Thompson thing then go to your modem and type in 10.0.0.138 if it's the default settings it'll automatically show up as you can see at the software release since I've already done it but it doesn't matter if I've done it because it doesn't harm the modem anyway now that that's done now I'll go to YouTube see how quick it loads See, even websites load quicker now. Once that's done, go to get a program called Putty. Um, I'll add the link to Putty. And once Putty's up, go to click on the Telenet button, type in 10.0.0.138 and click Open. As the default user, it'll be admin and the password will be blank. So type in admin. Sorry, this got a little laggy here. Then press Enter once you've done admin username. Now type in your password, which is blank for default admin. Once that's loaded, go to the commands I've added and select the first one by changing add user guru, change guru to whatever username you want, and the password guru to whatever password you want. Once that's done, um, I'll show you, like, this is just funny, haha, -ha. I changed it to haha, -ha. and then I changed the username to haha, -ha. but since I've already done this, I won't need to press enter. You copy that then you press um, right button, button mouse or yep then press enter once that's done go back to that go to script run name add root pairs copy that and then press enter by pressing the right mouse button and then once that's done close it after you've done save all as well make sure you copy save all as well and then press enter then go back into putty and then type in your default username and everything Sorry, I stuffed up there. Type in your username and password, and it should load up. Once you've done save all, then um, add script root pairs. Save all. I'm just doing this to make sure that you know what I'm doing. Now go to your modem. Type in default. And then type, then there won't be any username, just if you're admin, it'll still be default. Then go to toolbox, user management, 
switch to another user and it should pop up with a screen saying would you like to switch to another user and then type in the username and password that you put into the modem and then switch that to the default user by selecting that user and then you can switch it to a default user by selecting the main one and you can delete any other ones that are still there not why so and once that's done everything else is all default and everything okie dokie now that I've done that well use have done that then close Firefox and then open putty back up type in the same thing 10.0.0.138 now type in your username, whatever you put in, and your password, whatever you put in. And then go back to the script and select IDS config state disable. This will disable um, intrusion detection, which will be good for ports. And then press enter, and then to put in save all and press enter. And once that's done, go to your modem, and you should have intrusion detection off, which will help with your ports. Go to your modem put in your username and password which you'll have to do every time unless you have Firefox which automatically saves it then go to game sharing ap application sharing configurate configure sorry and turn off extended security which will allow you to open up your ports once that's done there's another little thing I would like to add to um this thing this is, comes with the new game home front and a few steam games such as killing floor and that that some people have problems of cutting out after a minute of gameplay open putty go to telenet type in your path your ip address and as well as your username and password again and then at this connection unbind application game udp port 27010 to 27011 press that and then press enter copy that and paste it and press enter and then do the same thing save all and press enter and once you've done that close down putty and I'll do another quick thing which will help with your network go to command in prompt and run as admin if you're running Windows 7 type in net windsock reset this is not what um, recommended if you don't want to do it this just resets your network settings to default same with .ip reset and net sh delete a ARP cache and press enter to, with all those three in the commands once you've downloaded the whole zip. Well that's the video, thank you for watching my tutorial and this should help you with your problems with your modem. I will post a video on how to unlock your ports for the Thompson modem. Thank you and watch my other one videos. Bye.